Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Fuzzy Ferret Farm in Stardew Valley. Right, let's check on the weather report today. Or, oh, you know, just pick up the goat. Why? why? <laughs> the other question is, why do I leave it there? Because I'm stubborn, that's why. <laughs> right, let's see. Uh, it's going to rain all day tomorrow. Oh, fantastic. That'll be our chance. The last day of this season will be our chance to try and cast a fish, if I can remember. Uh, really? Next up, the fortune teller. Let's see. The spirits are very displeased today. Uh, uh, do I give in to the spirits? I mean, I received a lot of feedback in the comments on what day we should propose to Emily. And generally speaking, the consensus was for us to go ahead and propose on her birthday. So, I had intended to do that. However, it seems that it might be a tad difficult. I don't know. Well, I mean, it's not that it's difficult so much as it's not a particularly uh, good omen when the spirits are that unhappy. Let's just make sure all of our animals are happy. I think I've said hello to all of them. There we go. Right, I need to go and say hello to uh, Leafin. There we are. Almost said it, Leafin. I almost called you Snuffkin again. Very, very nearly did. There we go. Right, I would like a pepper popper to start my day. Oh, that's lovely. Right, aggro. Need to ride like the wind. We must go find the bunnies. All of the bunnies. All four of the bunnies. Bunnies, bunnies, bunnies. There's one there. Two. Three. Come on. And four. There we go. We are done. Well done, aggro. Uh, there is no... No cloth. Okay. Fair enough. Alright. Aggro. Next stop. The goats. Uh, you know what? I should really start walking around with my scythe. I really, really should. Hello, my lovelies. Two, three, four. Right, I should go get the milk pail, really. There we are. Our inventory is relatively empty at the moment. Now, there we go. We have got milk today. Very well. There we are. Ooh. That is a very large goat milk. That purple background means that it is worth over 500 by itself, which is very nice. And we'll drop that off, grab all these, uh, sure, we'll get all of those done. There we go, no, no, no. There we are, drop that on in there. Right, aggro, take me up to the cows. Hello, beefs. There we are. The first thing is to make sure that they're all happy. Now, I dislike the fact that they've gone through all of this grass. Maybe I should just take these ones away. I'm a little bit concerned about that one. Hi, Robin. You're going to tell me off, aren't you? Be patient. I still have a lot of work to do. I <laughs> know. Uh, my lord. Right, let's get all of these done. There we are. Now I need to go and milk all of the cows. I could have just had the milk pail from the goats. Shed. I know. I could have. But I like doing it this way. I've got a, I've got a, I've got a system. Not a particularly good system, though. Uh, that is a problem. They just go through this grass so quickly. Uh, on the plus side, this will now be an auto-feed barn, so that will help me out quite a lot. That's right, come on out. I wish... One tool that I would really like, other than the uh, ability to just um, brush my, my livestock, would be a cowbell. Uh, we had that in Harvest Moon, and it allows you to just generally lead your animals around, or send them back to the barn, etc, etc. And it would be particularly useful, I think, if we could just summon them, and then just lead them all outside. Right now, what I would like to do is gather all of these. There we go. We've got a lot of stuff to do. Oh my lord, did I miss you? No, Blodin. Uh, I'm not sure if I milked Blodin, actually. Mm. I will have to double check. There we go. It'll be easy enough for me to work out, because we have a very set number of cows. And it all depends on how much are in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Thank you very much, girls. Right, aggro. I kind of would really desperately need... Ooh, honey. Honey is what I desperately need. 
But what I was thinking is I do need to start scything some of this grass, honestly. We've got a lot of grass that we could just do with cutting back because it's not benefiting us because none of our livestock are moving over there in order to uh, feed. So it would be better for us to just cut it back. Right, so we can dump off a lot of items here. A ridiculous amount of items, in fact. All of these go in there. All of the mush, uh, sorry, the strawberries, all of the milk there. You know what? Sure, everything can go in there today. We're not going to preserve any of it today. Uh, we will also chop that down, chop that down. There we go. Got a little bit of grass going there. Fantastic. I approve. And we've also got two fish. Despite the bad day in terms of the spirits, we've actually got two fish. Well, that's actually quite nice. All right, then. Now, scythe is what we want. Oh, actually, before we go any further, let's, actually, let's pop in here and uh, gather up. Oh, can I? There we go. Always one or two of them hidden behind the machines there. Well, let's get all of this done. No duck eggs today, unfortunately. But that's fine. But I am really weighing up whether, whether to propose today or not. Of all the characters in the game, Emily is the one that would react to the to the spirits and that would would put stock in their mood on an auspicious day so i'm actually very tempted not to based on that alone and i know it, it'll mean that it'll be a little bit later before we can start a family etc etc but it, no no let's let's do it on a good day not a bad day there we go we want the spirits to bless our union there we go. Grab these. Bat. <laughs> I've said it before. Such a waste. I cannot believe how bad they are <laughs> compared to the mushrooms. So bad. Uh, my inventory is a little bit full for this. Let's uh, go and do the scything first, actually, aggro. Uh, let's get that done. So, let's pop this in here as well as that. We'll go and drop off some of the mayo, actually. It's been a little while. Uh, we've got 12. We'll top that up a little further. Add that in there. We can also then drop off the fruit for later use. There we are. Perfect. Ooh. No, oh, no, no. Need my size. There we go. All right. We are set. Now it is Emily's birthday today. So we do have to go and see Emily. Hello there, dear. I hope your farm is doing well. I'm sending you a little something from my kitchen. Hope it didn't crumble in the mail. It didn't, and I'm surprised it didn't, frankly. Well done. It says a lot about your baking skills. Because I'm, I'm sure it is a delicious and moist chocolate cake. It is not like a hard rock that could withstand anything, and yet it still withstood the mail. That is testament to Evelyn's skills. There we go. We are going to scythe the grass in this kind of pattern, as I've mentioned before. That encourages the better growth from the grass. I'm not going to side that grass because you are actively eating that stuff, so there we go. This will encourage the grass to grow a little bit better because there'll be more spots for the grass to grow out from. There we go. That'll do there. Because from each side of these little areas, the grass will have a chance to propagate. And that is quite a lot of hay there that we just gathered. Fairly happy with that. Now it is 2 p.m. on a Saturday. Saturday is not a day we need to worry about in terms of getting ourselves any um, stuff from the merchants. I might have, if I'd thought about it, gone and got myself some uh, another iridium sprinkler. Because honestly, uh, some people have said, "Why are you letting your your area be so bad? Why don't you just sort this out?" It's because I'm waiting until I've got enough Iridium Sprinklers to cover the whole thing. That's that's literally it. I want Iridium Sprinklers to be able to sort this out. Have we actually got any... We do not. So, okay. That's worth bearing in mind. We've got corn enough. You know what? I'm going to... We've got enough corn seeds. We don't need more. Uh, but what I will do... We've got some strawberry seeds, so we don't need more. Uh, that being said... I do actually want to get a healthy amount of strawberry seeds, because strawberries are fantastic. But we will also get some of those as well. There we go, and we'll grab those later. Where is Agro? 
Acro? Acro, where is my horse? Oh dear, I've lost my horse. This is bad times. Did I leave my horse? Yeah, I did. I am a fool. There we go. Right, okay. Today has been done. We don't need to do anything else today except make money. So let's drop all of this off. There we are. I will go and, and talk with Krobus, I guess. Um, I mean, we should. We should go and spend some time with Krobus. I might do some fishing anyway, just for the sake of it. Just to get the skills up. Ooh, now ahead. We could also go to the mine. I know, I know. I am still looking for the dwarf scroll. In fact, I'm going to go to Gunther's if I can make it in time now. We might just be able to do it. And check which dwarf scroll I'm missing. Because one of the reasons that I've been reticent to, to actually go to, to the mine is that I don't know which floor I need to be on. Because I have an idea of which floor to find or rather which group of floors is the best to find each type of dwarf scroll but it's a matter of actually working out which one i need to get right this can go over there thank you now we've got uh it doesn't say i'll have to go and read them very well thank you gunther and here we are right so dwarf scroll one dwarf scroll three Dwarf scroll 4. So it's Dwarf scroll 2. Okay. That is not going to be a problem. In fact, that's pretty good for us, to be perfectly honest. Uh, Alright, there we go. Because that is a very easy group of floors for me to be hunting on. Now then, of course, that one has already been given to Gunther. Hello, Elliot. Do you like a sweet pea? Oh. You probably would, too. Uh, let's see. Vincent, Clint, I do need to keep some grapes on me, but I can't give anything to Vincent at the moment. I could give something to Evelyn, though. Okay. Um, I've already given everything to the wizard that we can give. Jazz could do with a sweet pea. Willie could do with, well, something. Uh, maybe I'll try and catch some fish for Willie, specifically. Evelyn! I'm going to give you one of the chocolate cakes that you did not give me. <gasps> this is absolutely marvellous! You're welcome. You've made an old lady very happy. I used to love looking at the clouds, but I have trouble seeing them these days. Uh, I'm certain I could tell you what the clouds look like. My eyes just don't work as well as they used to. But your heart is working very well. My arms are really... Uh, I'm not saying that in the medical sense. Obviously, it's, it's poetic. I'm saying that she's a lovely person. A shush. My arms are really sore, but that's a sign of progress for a guy like me. Uh, okay. I must have done a thousand push-ups yesterday. That is... That is not... No, I don't think that's particularly healthy. You don't look like the sort of person who can sustain that kind of workout. Sorry to be to be a downer, but, you know, that is the truth. Here you go, Emily. You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. Do you ever think about the texture of fabric, Avac? Each texture has a distinct personality. Feel my dress. See? Hello, Gus. Hello, Avac. Glad to see you. You're always welcome here. And you'll just keep repeating that. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna buy... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna grab coffee. We'll keep hold of this for Harvey. Just in case. Hey, Leah. That makes sounds fun. I want to try it someday. Oh, Leah, we, we can't keep doing this. That was another life. Another me. Don't make this difficult. Please. You'll crush my soul. Now, I heard a certain something bobbing around somewhere. Hmm. Certain I did. Hi, Marnie. Have you been to that strange tower west of my house? I have indeed, and it is in fact strange, yes. Well, we've more or less done everything we wanted to do today. I'm just going to go and talk with Willy, because, I mean, that at least does give a little bit of... Uh, friendship. The local fishing scene got a bit more lively. I might expand the shop stock. Well, we can but hope. Okay. Hey, Elliot. You really want Willie to dislike you? Give him sap. He hates that stuff with a passion. I think he might be allergic. Why are you telling me this? Why do you phrase it like that? Why, why wouldn't you phrase it like, look, don't give Willie sap. I think he's allergic. And, and then it's like, oh, all right, then, that's fair enough. But when you freeze it, like, if you really want him to dislike you, this is how you do it. It's like, why would I want someone to dislike me? 
That makes me feel like a horrible person for the way you worded something. So is that what you think of me, Elliot? You think I'm the sort of person who just goes around wanting people to hate me? <sighs> what went wrong? I know what I'll do. I will cheer myself up by catching fish. Plucking them from their native habitat and devouring them. Later. For now, I'll stick them in my fridge instead. An anchovy. There we go. I will freeze you first. Then I will devour you. I will defeat you by the power of cold and mechanical pressure. Oop. Want this badly. Got you. Oh, there we go. There is a small chance you'll get a dwarf scroll from a uh, treasure chest, you see. There we go. What are we going to get? Probably bait. Yes, bait. That's not even good bait. Why? Why Why do you hate me so, game? Why do you give me the terrible bait? Mind you, we're almost up to 200 bait. Wow. That is pretty impressive. Okay, I'm not liking this spot. If it's another anchovy, I'm going to go elsewhere. Oh, there we go. Halibut. Fantastic. It's been a long time since I just sat and fished the night away. Sometimes it's the simple things. You just need to sit there listening to the, the sound of the waves crashing against the shore. The occasional cast of your of your line. The bobbing bobber. Uh, the broken CDs. <laughs> oh, Pelican Town. For such an idyllic location, you really do have a problem with, with sea pollution. Come on, you. Let's make this a perfect, shall we? There we go. And it's another anchovy, which means I'm moving elsewhere. Come on, aggro. We've actually got to check on the crab pot, honestly. <clears throat> you know what? We could end the night by going and chilling out in the in the tavern. We we'll spent some time with Emily there. We only popped in a little bit early to give her a present, but we, we should actually go and spend time. There we go. So with that, let's head back. There we go. We could, I suppose, also play... Ooh, I see you over there, Sparkly. Can I get you, though, is the question. No? Can I get you from here? No? Anywhere from which I can get you? That is frustrating. <laughs> Why would it spawn somewhere I can't reach? That's frust that is enormously frustrating. Yep. Okay, well, let's pop inside. Hello, everyone. I am here. Ah, nothing's better than kicking back with a cold one after a relaxing day of fishing. I agree. Damn it, I'm too old to do anything exciting anymore. All I have to look forward to is years and years of sweaty, hot furnace work. You're the one deciding that one, Clint. No one else. I'm really going to attach to Manny's chickens. I know. You've named one of them Charlie. Good morning. I always see Clint here, but he won't talk to anyone. He just glances over his shoulder now and then. <sighs> I can't. He already tells me you've really become a part of this community. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. Thank you, mate. Fact. Let's grab a couple of beers. Here you go, man. Hey, now, this is really great. Thanks. You're welcome. Pam isn't responding. Well, okay, Pam, you can have this one too. Hey, hey, now this is really something. Thanks a million, kid. I hope Shane doesn't mind that I never give him beers anymore. I'm not going to give Marnie a beer either. She's already got a glass or something. Hello. This looks great. Thank you. You're welcome. Clint. Oh, okay. No for Clint then. Um, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to splurge today on presents for people who don't even need the presents, but... Here you go, dear. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I wish I could give you another gift, but it won't let me. <laughs> I can't even talk to you anymore, which is depressing. You know what? Let's change the music a bit. Um, start up saloon. Spring the Valley comes alive. No, distant, distant banjo. Uh, no, we won't do that one. Uh, glimpse of another world. Now, that's a little bit odd. Club Bloop. Or Club Loop, rather. Uh, no. That's not. 
echoes. It's nice. Not really sure it's the right mood for here. Honestly. Playful, let's go for that one. Sure, okay, let's have that. I actually really like the the other tune though, but no not the right not the right mood. Uh you know we could try Junimo card again, I guess. Mm. Sure, let's 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 do it. Progress mode on Junimo card. With a little little jaunty tune to help us by. It's a really bad day for playing it, by the way. Super bad, in fact. Should have really kept that in mind when I decided to play any games. The spirits are really super displeased, so this is not going to go well. Oh, damn it. No! <laughs> damn. Ugh, so bad. Oh, come on. Come on, game. Don't make, don't make it this bad. Really? Do you have to embarrass me so? I think you're doing it on purpose. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! We're alive! Just! I think we might make it. We might. Ooh, this is gonna be a tricky one, though. But there? Ha ha! We're only halfway. No, we're not. We're much further than halfway. We've made it! Ah! Oh, it was touch and go there on the first bloody level. Ah, oh, Junimo Cut. You are terrible. Uh, no wonder the little Junimos have got their arms slung in the air. It's, it's abject panic. They're like, no, we're being controlled by Avak. We're doomed. There's no surviving this. Oh, what cruel fate. What did I do to make the, the world hate me so that Avak would be guiding my journey on Junimo card? Well, you know, at least I've got, got a few seconds to wish all my loved ones goodbye and hope that they do well with their lives, do better than I did, for whatever I must have done must have been terribly sinful to be given this fate. Though, while I'm talking smack about myself, apparently my skill in Junimo card goes up. Hmm, I'll bear this in mind in the future. In reality, it's just that I entered the zone. I, I basically flipped my brain onto autopilot so I could get good commentary. It's like this occasionally. I remember playing Tetris, and in fact Columns. Columns quite a lot, I used to play with my cousin. And we just talk rubbish about school for ages. It was like one of those massive Sega um, like deal games. I don't know, like old classics and all that. And I loved Columns. And uh, we would just play. Okay, it's not working so much now, but uh, yeah, I'd find I'd get the best scores when I wasn't paying any attention to the game at all and mostly just thinking about what I was talking That's going to be hard. Oh, well, we at least got a little bit further there. Come on, just a little hop, skip and jump. Oh, this bit difficult. Oh, okay, that's going to be dangerous. Oh, never mind. Aha! I am become God! Uh, uh, should have shut my mouth, really. Okay. Well, bear that in mind. Oh. <laughs> but yes, basically, I think faster when I'm not thinking about thinking. The less I'm thinking about what I'm doing, the better I do. I just need to trust my brain's autopilot. It's a lot better than the rest of me is. Oh, that was a bit of a tricky one. Honestly, that was a really difficult jump. So was that one, to be fair, because it started me right at the edge there. Some of these are hopelessly difficult, but we'll see. We're not doing too terribly bad, I guess. Halfway mark, at least. Uh, well, I mean, it's going to be rubbish if we die at this point, because we have actually come a fair old ways. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone for that jump. I needed to go for the uh, shorter of the two. Right, this is going to be hard. However, we have made it. Well done, me. I am impressed with myself. There we go. And just a tiny little bit to go. There we are. All right, so we've gone through the ice caves. What's up next? I forget how many levels there are to Junimon Kart, honestly. Okay, the fifth level. Now we've got five lives. We've got to try and make these count. That's not going to be a jump I can make. No. Maybe if I jumped at the very, very last possible second, I'd have made it. But alas, that is not what I did. I was, in fact, a derp. Okay, this I might be able to make by just doing the long jump because it was so uh, low down. I'd have a lot of glide time. Oh, that was a hard one, honestly. I'm not at all surprised that I messed that up. That was a really difficult one. This is going to be difficult. Uh, just a little bit under jumped. Yeah, this, there was no point. Oh, scallywags. Oh, well, we tried our best. We tried our best. We got quite far on that one, I feel. I felt we, we did fairly well. But that is it for our nights. Uh, we didn't really... I would, I would love to have played 
You know what would be really good is if you could get that two-player um, Prairie King and just invite people to play with you. That would actually be pretty fun, I think. Oh, well. Now then. The other thing that I quite like about the other, like, Harvest Moon games, and in fact, um, Rune Factory and the likes, is that quite a lot of the, uh, like, festivals are ones where... Ooh, Ellie's trying to sleep. Sorry, Ellie. Uh, you can spend time with people in the village. There's a lot more festivals where you specifically can select someone or they select you to go spend time with. And I quite like that. It, it really... I don't know. It, it's, it's very romantic. It's very sweet. Yes, I'm tired. Look, I don't want to fight. Not right now. I'm busy. I'm going to have to fight you, though, aren't I? Okay, then. Let's do this, then. There we go. There we are. I'll close this one as well. No. Get out of it. All right, then, fine. If it has to be, it has to be. I will give you a warrior's death at the very least. I shall acknowledge you as combatants, and we shall fight. I can't even pick up that. Uh, is there anything I really don't want? Because the coal is actually more useful to me. Uh, this can go as well. There we go. Right. Oh, I should actually put some more items around the place, honestly. Uh, let's pop that in there. And let's go get you. Just clay. Oh, well. On the plus side, though, we have done reasonably well. I should have... Uh, what was it I wanted to drop off? I really should have dropped off a bunch of the... Uh, uh, put more eggs into the... In, uh, the mail machines, but I was a bit of a dirt and completely forgot. Uh, pop all these away. There we go. And I've got two items then that I can pop into the recyclers. There we are. And I've got some beer for later. Ah, uh, drunk. I might be able to get these going. Uh, yeah, I can almost certainly get them in, actually refill them and get to bed in time. But only if I move really efficiently. I can't afford to stop at things. Uh, what are we going to put up, pop in there? We, we've got actually loads of star fruit. Um, you know what? Let's get some melon jelly. So, There we are. And that is it for tonight. Pretty good night, I think. No star leaf in. Made 19,000 on just farm produce. The blue jazz honey brought us in quite a lot. The strawberry milks brought... Uh, sorry, strawberry milks. <laughs> Two combined. The strawberries brought us in a fair wallop as well. Um, the iridium milks, of course, brought us in a fair chunk. Massive amount from the cranberries. Massive amount from the high-grade strawberries as well. Very, very nice indeed. And the six regular mayonnaise is... Okay, well, not bad at all. 20,317 in total. We didn't actually get that much from fishing, though. A little bit surprised by that. <clears throat> okay, today is the day. And because it is Sunday, everyone can be given gifts again. So we've got Evelyn, Clint, Vincent to work on. Well, pretty much everyone that we need to work on, really. <clears throat> Put our leaf in. Right. Well. Um, I'm fairly happy with what we've got. We don't need the side anymore. I've already cut all of the grass that I want to cut. Uh, so that can be dropped off. Right, let's check on the television. What's the fortune teller going to say? Welcome back to the Wellwick's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, well, you've come to the right place. Spirits feel neutral today. Well, it's not a bad day. It's not a good day, but I want to to propose today. Uh, one of the other things that people said, um, although I f feel that more people suggested that that I propose on Emily's birthday, quite a few people made the point of, well, if you propose afterwards, then you've got two two consecutive days of something good, which is quite nice. Yeah, I like that idea. So today's the day then. Well, it's the weather report going to be for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day in the summer and the Queen of Source. Lucky lunch. An old legend has it that this meal is irresistible to spirits of luck and fortune. After consuming it, 
You're likely to attract good spirits into your belly, where it will bless you with good fortune until the meal is digested. Sounds weird, huh? I can't say I believe it, but the meal is delicious nonetheless. You've learned how to make a lucky lunch. Well then, let us go and find out how to make a lucky lunch. Where would that be? Lucky lunch. There we go. Sea cucumber, tortilla, and blue jazz. I mean, I got the blue jazz. I, unfortunately, do not have the sea cucumber or the tortillas. Unless I do. Do I have sea cucumber? <gasps> I do. This is marvelous. Hello there, dear. I hope your farm is doing well. I'm sending you a little something from my kitchen. I hope it didn't crumble in the mail. Oh, Evelyn, you're being really, really kind. Thank you. So sweet. But we have something very specific that we're going to do today. All right. I require... This is the last day. Anything that hasn't grown is not going to grow, basically. So we're not going to worry about it. Agro, I need help. First and foremost, how's things looking over here? Is everything all right? Yeah, everything is good. Right, we're going to go and feed the cattle. Okay, there we go. They don't want to come out today, so that's fine. And, oh, I don't need to feed you anymore because it has been upgraded. Hooray! Oh, unfortunately, this has been moved. Boo! That means I'm going to move them all. There we go. Let's just move them all. There we are. And there as well. And we'll pop them all down here instead. So to move these around, best thing is to just move stuff off my hotbar. Hold shift and then click. Lots of people ask me how I do that. It's literally just if you've got a space in your inventory, shift clicking on something will move it to the first available space in your inventory. So in the case of anything on your hotbar, that's going to be at the first available space compared to anywhere in your main inventory. So you just make room up there, hold down shift, and then you click it and it'll pop up there into the first spot it can fill. Hello, my lovelies. Today is a very important day. You know what today is? Today is the day of pigs. Ah, it's going to be grand. Today could also be the day of sheep, but it's going to be the day of pigs. We're going to go into summer with pigs. And there we are. Oh, Blotin. I love the name Blotin. And right, let's get all of these going. There we go. Thank you very much, girls. Right, aggro, if you would be so kind. Hello, sweethearts. There we go. Now I need to uh, feed your... Uh, fill your trough specifically. There we are. And we've got one goat's milk as well. Thank you. Right, let's be off. Now, this will probably grow fairly quickly again. As you can see, it's already starting to grow in certain areas. We are not going to get any more honey, so now is the time to collect all of the blue jazz. No, do not eat the blue jazz. We've got something very, very special in store for that. We're going to eat the lucky lunch before we propose. I think this is a grand idea myself. Really, did all of the blue jazz have to be a different... Oh, that's frustrating. Okay. <laughs> oh, scallybags. And of course, the blue jazz is different colours, so... Uh, that's... Genuinely, oh, I've got one extra one in there. Uh, I'll have to go and deal with that in a moment. But it's, that's genuinely just a very frustrating thing. Let's go and make ourselves a lucky lunch then. First thing we need to make, tortilla, then a lucky lunch. There we go. Now, I don't have another sea cucumber, so I can't make another one. Uh, I guess I can drop these off. It feels odd just filling this place up with that, to be honest with you. Um... Is there anything else I can make? Let's make all of that. Let's also make, hmm, let's see, bean hot pots, uh, parsnip soup. That's not too bad. Eggplant. I mean, that's better for mining. Spaghetti, blueberry tarts, pale broth, and algae soup. You know what? Let's make all the pale broths and all the algae soup. We're just going to sell those. We're literally just getting them out of my inventory right now. Um, the survival burger is always quite a nice one. And that's actually really quite good for foraging. Um, sure, I'll make a survival burger as well. Most of the stuff in my inventory I'm going to sell, though. I just don't need it. It doesn't provide me any particular benefit. It's just sale food. 
Um, all right. I well, I guess I'll just. No, I'll, I'll. I won't throw that away. It actually does raise the the value way too much for me to just casually toss it in the bin. Not that I was going to toss it in the bin per se. I was actually going to make use of it, but you know. All right. Let's pop over here and visit our bunnies. Hello. Some ear scratches. And we're going to have some lovely cloth on this. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. Right, aggro. Gonna have to, uh, how full is my inventory? My inventory is actually getting a, a wee bit full, so... Oh, I should have dropped off my uh, iridium milk. Why didn't I? It's because I saw the uh, gold milk, I imagine. My brain was, like, full of... Yeah, I shouldn't sell the milk. And then that, that just got applied to all milk. Stupid brain. I was praising you earlier for being so good when, when I'm not in direct control. And here you are, embarrassing me. Ah, I can't wait until I can replace you with a microchip. That is a lie. Of all the parts of me that I would want to replace, I would only want to augment my brain. I wouldn't want to replace it. I have absolutely no sentimental attachment to my body in any other way. If some, I don't know, fella along the side of the road as I'm taking my cow to market just said, oh, I'll take the cow off you and in, in exchange I will give you these magic robot legs. I'll go, yep, okay. They don't look like human legs though. No, that's fine. And you're, I mean, they're better than human legs, but they really don't look like human legs. People are going to think you're a monster. No, that's fine. As long as they're better than human legs, I, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm not attached to the form of my humanity. My body is merely a tool. Very, very good tool. But if I was offered the chance of having a better tool, I mean, it's a no-brainer, really. Ah, the melons are ready. There we go. Thank you. Nope. Uh, do we have melon? We actually don't have any melon seeds. So, with that in mind, let's pop that in there. Now, the sweet gem berries, they're not as good as some of the other items that I can make. But, they are more... I mean, they're super valuable. But, they're not as valuable as the ancient seeds. And they last for a lot longer because you just keep planting them um anything else i really want to uh, you know what we can start working on the garlic actually so i'm all right with just completely moving on from the sweet jam berries but for one thing and that thing is that i'm not sure if they are used in any kind of um recipe so i'd like to keep some seeds so that i can grow more at some point uh, if I need to. But other than that, I'm fine with it. There we go. It is time to be off. Ah, it's a good day. It is a very, very good day. Now, we want to go and give... We've got a sweet pea for Jazz. I would like a gold bar for Clint. We've got a chocolate cake. And sorry about that. I had to have a pretty epic sneeze. Uh, we've got an emerald for Emily. A chocolate cake... For Evelyn. Um, we've got the sweet pea for Jazz we need. We've got the gold for Clint. And I'd like a grape for Vincent. There we go. We are set for the day. We've got gifts for pretty much everyone. And it is time for us to make our move. And of course, I need to go and fish as well. That is another big thing that I need to try and do. There we are. Melons in there. You know what? We will see Emily later. So, let's head to the fishing spot. We'll use the soup by 7 o'clock. That's it. We, we, can't, we can't win. We can't catch the fish at that point. So, there we go. We will fish from here. Right, you just hang tight there, aggro. And I will... Speak with you in a moment. Right. Fish stew. Oh, we have not got the trap, Barber. Sorry. Let's just do our best. We're not going to do this with any tricks. We're going to do this the, the right way. Skill against skill alone. Now. Are we going to succeed? 
Now our fishing bar is significantly bigger now, which is glorious. There we go. And again. No! I need the kingfish! The king of spring! Damn it! Once again, you have disappointed me, kingfish! Wouldn't mind that treasure chest, though. Come on, then. Hurry up. Hurry up, you! What have we got? Uh, just some bait. Nothing we really care that much about. See, I would eat the lucky lunch, but it would replace the fishing buff. There we are. We'll just keep going until it's seven. Uh, maybe at five I'll switch to another position, but I'm fairly certain this is where I need to be fishing. On the plus side, if this doesn't get our fishing skill up, I don't know what will. Whether we're successful or not. Ah, oh, over there, really. There's no way I'm going over there to get it. Uh, my goal here is to catch the legendary fish, not to get ores. If I wanted that, I'd be mining right now. There we go. Oh, an ornamental fan and some fire quartz. Okay, well that wasn't too bad. I think I will grab this. Thank you. I'm actually getting some really good fish, to be fair. Though soon we're going to have to start throwing them away because I do not have the inventory space. Uh, terrible times. Now, I, I should have actually gone to the merchant, but alas. This is a significantly high priority for me right now. Okay, I said I would move at five, but I'm going to move at four. Let's go down here and see if I can't fish from this little pot point here. Now, I am going to offer a sacrifice to the river gods of the chub and the carp. Uh, the green algae. I am. I'm literally putting this on the floor. I'm not sacrificing it. I'm, I'm, that's going in the rubbish. There we go. Ah. Oh. My fishing tackle is worn out. That is unfortunate. Now things are going to take longer to bite. But we're going to keep going. At least until this wears down. And no. Let's go grab this. There we are. Oh, this is going to be a close one. Wah. There we go. The soup has not been too bad at all for our fishing skill. It's made it a lot easier for us, but... Hmm. And we got glass shards. Oh, that's something that Gunther hasn't seen before. That's quite interesting, actually. This is the trouble, is I can't quite get it out to the... And I think I need it to be on that log. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, really? Well, to be fair, I don't think I'd have been able to reach that one regardless. There we go. Now, this is where, in the comments... Someone says, yeah, I've like you were fishing in the wrong place. Once again. You fool. Hush. I don't look up the wiki for these sort of things. I rely on my memory. And I know that's, that's possibly a bit dumb. But, I don't know, I get, I get more out of the game if I'm not looking things up all the time. If I'm achieving things based on my, my own skill or memory or lack thereof. Oh dear. I was expecting him to jump there. Now, from what I've been told, you can only catch the le this legendary fish if you've got a skill of 10 or more. Now, with the fishing buff, we should have a skill of 10 or more. I think it's skill 11 right now, because this adds 3 to fishing. And I think we had 8 to begin with. But it could be that 
it requires more than 11. It could be like, it needs 12 or something. So you have to try and catch this fish with a 10 in fishing and some good, uh, or the idea is that you catch it with a 10 in fishing and some good uh, fishing food. Because certainly we've spent all day trying to catch it and it's not going anywhere. I'll keep it up until 11. Uh, sorry, until 7, but after that we're heading back. It does mean I'm not going to be able to give gifts to some of my friends today, which is a bit of a shame, but, you know, it's fine. <gasps> Hello? Hello? No. I wish I had the trap, Bobba. Come on. This is me and you. I've been waiting here all day for you to show up, please. No, no, come on. Come on, let's just fight this out. No more tricks. No more scallywaggy tricks. No! <laughs> My one chance. Ah, uh, I just wasn't fast enough. Or it was too fast. So now I know this was the right place. At the very least, I was in the right spot. <gasps> You've come back. You've given me a second chance. I appreciate your majesty. Come on now. Let, it, let us fight. No more of your weaseling around. Stop dodging. No! This is like trying to fight the PvP in Dark Souls. Come back here, you! And that, that is that is true. I've just compared the fishing inside your valley to Dark Souls PvP. Uh. Well, that's it. You can't, you can't blame the fish. It gave me a chance. And we fought, fought as nature intended. No, no use of tricks. I didn't use trap bobber. And, I mean, it, it uses natural agility, which I guess I'm going to have to accept is not a use of tricks. It is just, it's better than me. But I'm not going to give up on you, even if I have to play this into year three. I'm going to get you, fish. Eventually. I have a craving for a dandelion. Leah, uh, I'll try and get that for you. Come on, then. Uh, Emily, I'm soaking wet and I didn't manage to catch the fish. Here you go, Harvey. For me, this is my favorite stuff. It's like you read my mind. Imagine having a patient's life completely in your hands and failing to keep them alive. That's something that will haunt you forever. Uh, wow, is that like some sort of hint at some deeper, dark secret that you have? Good evening, Avak. I'm glad to see you relaxing at the saloon. It's good for you to take a break every now and then. Your grandfather always worked himself too hard. I'll have an extra beer in his honor. This will be the 58th extra beer that I've had in his honor on this subject so far. Ah, uh, you. Right, okay, it's time for my lucky lunch. Nom. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Beer. One for Willy. Here you go, Willy. This looks great. Thank you. You're welcome. One for Pam. Hey, hey, now this is really something. Thanks a million, kid. Um, two extra beers. One for Leah. This is really nice gift. Thank you. And, oh, no, he's here. Damn it. I was, I was... Shane, look, this this is like, this is Shandy, okay? It's really low alcohol. Oh, wow, how, about, how did you know this is my favorite? Look, don't make this into a habit. Yeah, I wonder what would happen if I spent all night in the graveyard. Um, what do you think happens to us after we die? Um, our energy bodies enter the astral plane. Um, hmm. Come back and speak of ghosts. No, I... My honest answer is I have no idea. Hmm, interesting. Glad that you found that interesting. Now Shane had asked. Fairly sure Shane would be like, eh, we just cease to exist. I'd uh, rather if you'd ask Shane. If you're lucky, you might see a frog in this weather, indeed. Well, I would give you give you a drink, but I, I honestly don't know how old you are, so. Clint, here you go, mate. Yes, this is exactly what I've been looking for. Today would be a good day to explore the mines. Who knows? You might find some rare ores. Uh, I've got other plans. All right, I've given most of the people here a drink, you know, to to set the mood. Let's find something nice. Uh, star lumpy? No, no, no. Pleasant memory. There we go. Right. Emily, a lot of thought went into the timing of this gift. And, like, you know, I, I'm not going to be as lucky as this ever again. So, will you marry me? 
Oh, the music stopped. Damn it! I went to all of the effort to set the scene and everything. I accept. I set everything up. We'll have the ceremony in three days, okay? Yes, that is fine. So it'll be the third of summer. Can you believe we're about to move in together? I've never lived with anyone but my family. It's exciting. I'm glad you think it's exciting and, and not scary. Hi there, Avak. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Actually, I should have given you a beer as well. Really shouldn't I, guess? Sorry, guess. We'll, we'll, we'll have a drink together after the fact. There you go. Oh. Oh, goodness. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Ah, oh, good times. Here you go. You also need to be super happy on this day. Remember it well. This is the day I gave you sashimi. I really love this. How did you know? Uh, you know, amongst all of the other days that I've given you sashimi. Ah, uh, I wish there was a little bit more to, to discuss after that. But alas, no. Also, here you go. This gift is fabulous. Thank you so much. Ah, there we are. I didn't want to give her a gift beforehand because then it would have been it felt like I was I was trying to influence the decision. It's like, here you go, marry me. I'll I'll give you emeralds frequently. I mean, I will, but didn't want that to be the reason she said yes. Not that I think that Emily is that sort of person, actually. Ah, good times. Except you know, not catching the legendary fish. But well, what can you do? We had two chances. That's about as good as I could have hoped for. If we'd had the trap bobber, probably would have caught it, honestly. And it was, you know, in, in all honesty, it was, a, it was an oversight that I didn't have the trap bobber with me at the time. But at the same time, there is a part of me that's like, no, no, I, I, like, to, I, I like just competing against it. Skill against skill alone. The way it was meant to be. Right, well, that's it for us. Good night, Agro. Tomorrow is going to be very different from today. You're going to wake up, and it might might startle you a little bit, but don't don't be afraid. It is fine. Oh, man, I'm going to have a load of planting to do. But on the plus side, haha, -ha, that's why I didn't uh, upgrade any of my other barns today. <laughs> I, I realized it's like, yeah, that won't go well. Uh, though I do need to clear out my inventory a little bit. Uh, let's move this wild horse. Radis can go elsewhere. And you know what? I can... Uh, I deserve this, actually. This one can go in there. And that's it. I am going to sit down in the kitchen. I've had a really long day. I can't sit down. I wish I could. I, I'll pretend... You know what? I'm going to pretend I'm, I'm sat here with, with my loyal hound at my feet as I eat my chocolate cake sent to me by Evelyn. <sighs> Today turned out well. Though... It's as if it's as if I'm really in spring. I mean, I'm not. I'm almost in spring. I guess I am actually technically in spring now. I guess. Ah, oh, damn. No wonder I'm sneezing so much. Bloody allergies. Ah, you're not gonna ruin my night tonight. Allergies. I'm gonna go to bed and sleep you off. That's not how allergies work. I wish it was though. Though if that was how it worked, I'd probably spend most of my life in bed. Ah, there we go. We made a reasonable amount of money. Seven thousand and seventy-four. We're going into summer with a quite a whopping wallet <laughs> and of course the promise that in three days we are going to be getting married to emily and she's going to be moving in happy days indeed i hope you've enjoyed this episode lots of things went on in it lots of failures of course the junimo card and naturally the the fishing but still i had a lot of fun and i hope you did as well and i hope you'll be joining me for the next but until then remember to like if you liked sub if you haven't and i'll see you next time take care everyone <laughs>